All right, so Maya 2025 has an update. That's pretty cool, relatively quick. So one of the cool things is some smart extrude options. Uh, so new updates to that. This is super helpful. I teach 15 to 18 year olds, so high schoolers, how to use Maya and animate and all that fun stuff. But I have not taught them smart extrude just because it's kind of funky where it was located and now it's in the modeling toolkit. So let's go take a look at these two new features. I am going to select some faces, looks good. And now, like I said, it's in the modeling toolkit. Small, minor update, but super helpful, especially how I teach. Uh, when we're modeling, we have modeling toolkit open. Students can come over here, press the buttons, or, you know, use hotkeys, things like that. I'm going to press Smart Extrude, and there we go. We have the ability to just press it right then and there. The other update to Smart Extrude is it just gives you this little symbol uh, telling you, letting you know that yes, you are actually in Smart Extrude. There is also a few more improvements. So now there's improved manipulator and pivot inheritance from move, rotate, and scale tools. And performance, reliability, and stability of Smart Extrude operations has been improved upon. Improvements are awesome. Those are always a welcome change.